Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video we're going to take a look at the differences and the similarities between SATA and SAS. Let's take a look at what is SATA and what is SAS. So first of all these are two protocols and physical connectors that just connects your storage device to your motherboard or controller. The first main but small difference between SATA and SAS is the actual connector. Although it looks very similar there is a slight difference which you can see here. So on the left we have the SATA connector. As you can see there is actually a gap between the, the data and the power side. And on the right side you can see the SAS connector. This is actually just one physical connector. It's not two as with the SATA. Let's look at intercompatibility. If you have a SATA drive you can use that SATA drive with a SATA connector or with a SAS connector. But if you have a SAS hard drive you can unfortunately only use that with a SAS connector. Let's quickly take a look at the drive RPMs for SATA and SAS. So as you can see from this table, the SATA drives normally spin at, at around 7200 RPM. Now this is the fastest drives that you get. But with SAS, they spin up all the way to 15,000 RPMs. Now this isn't all drives, you get drives that spin at 10,000 RPMs as well. So the reason why SAS drives spin so fast is because they are actually faster. So with the increased speed also comes increased read and write speed. That is why the SAS connector will outperform the SATA connector any day and we'll get into those numbers in a second. Here is the read and write speeds for the SATA and SAS connectors. SATA 3 read speeds can only reach a maximum of 560 megabytes per second while SAS can reach up all the way to 1800 megabytes per second. At the SATA write speeds, on the SATA protocol you can get a maximum of 530 megabytes per second, compared to SAS where you can get all the way to 1000 megabytes per second. That is quite fast. As you can see from this graph, these are the protocol speeds for the two interfaces. So for SATA we have the generation 1, 2 and 3, with 1.5, 3 and 6 gigabits per second respectively and with the SAS it has generations 1 through to 4 with, with 3, 6, 12 and 12.5 12 gigabits per second respectively. So now you can see really where SAS really outperforms SATA significantly. You might be wondering well where do you find SATA and where do you find SAS? Well this is a one new server and this actually uses the SAS protocol. So right here in front this actually this particular server actually has two hot swap uh, bays. This is just one of them. And here you can see, I don't know how clear you can see, but this is actually the SAS protocol right here. And this is a little 2.5 inch drive. And this particular one actually spins at 10,000 RPM. So this is not the fastest spinning ones, but it's, it's still pretty fast. So you might be wondering, well, where do you find a SATA? The SATA connector is normally used on just personal computers, such as at your school or inside your house, maybe you have your own computer, and is in some cases also used in the server industry, but, but not that commonly. They normally use SAS drives because it's much more fast and this just the performance is, is so much better. Over here I have another server, this is also a one new server, and this one actually uses SATA drives. So I don't know as again how clearly you can see but this is the SATA protocol and this also has hot swap based on the so that means that both SAS and SATA is hot swappable if you have the right equipment. Thank you for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed this video and you learned something. Please leave a like and remember to subscribe if you haven't already and see you in the next video. Bye bye.